Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Everybody gets sick fish, and this one is about fish mouth rot, also known as calamaris. So this is how I'm spending my Friday night. I am treating a sick fish. A sick female Bosmani rainbow fish, which I've noticed has got some ickiness on her mouth, and it's not looking very good. So it's actually fish mouth disease. So the first early symptoms are you might notice some blotching on the skin. If you catch this fish early, then you can go with the Melifix, the herbal solution. Try that, catch it early, see if it works. Unfortunately, in my case, I did not catch it early. I've moved her to the quarantine tank and we're gonna start treating her with erythromycin. Now erythromycin is no longer available in Canada. This is the last box that I have, so I do have enough to treat a 10 gallon. I've moved her into the quarantine tank, so we're gonna treat her. A lot of people say that Melifix doesn't work, but I find if you catch it soon enough, it will. Now the directions for the erythromycin are on the back. It's a day, treat, next day, treat, third day, do a water change, treat again, and treat for the fourth day. I don't want to treat my entire 220 gallon aquarium if I can help it because of the cost of the erythromycin and I don't have enough and can't get any more. So I've moved Black Widow out into a little two and a half gallon tank and I've put the female rainbow fish into the 10 gallon tank that is the quarantine tank. I just leave the bed in here to keep this tank cycled. You may be able to see her mouth, her lower jaw is rotting away and there's some debris kind of like a scab over the cross of her mouth. So we're hoping that with treatment, she's gonna get better and then we can put her back into the tank. I will treat the entire tank if I have to, but I mean, that's gonna be my absolute last resort and I'll have to try and think of something to find some erythromycin. Because this disease is highly contagious, I will have to keep a close eye on the other fish. In particular, I'm gonna keep a close eye on the rainbow fish that are in the 220 gallon. This female here, I'm a little bit concerned about the blotchiness on the top left side of her body. So we'll keep a close eye on her. The male there, he looks good, as well as all the other fish that are in this tank right now. I've inspected them and so far everything looks good. So we'll keep our fingers crossed with that. So I've treated her one day. I think it looks like there's a little bit of an improvement. Um, we'll go ahead and treat her for a second time and then see how she looks after that. Okay, we're on to day two, so I'm just gonna dump the package in here. That's all I do, day two of treating, and next day we're gonna do a water change, and then the day after that, we're gonna start the treatment again and do a pack and then do another pack and then see where we're at. So I left her in the quarantine tank for an extra four days even though she looked fine just to make sure she's okay and we're still going to keep an eye on this tank and make sure no other fish have the disease. Now you might be thinking that medications are very expensive you can't afford them but you know what they're a lot cheaper than constantly buying new fish. I hope this video helps you. Join me next week for another edition Friday Fish Facts.